This is the default look of XFC desktop. Not very beautiful, right? A few years ago, I made a video on how to make your XFCE look modern and beautiful, and I shared my favorite XFC themes in that video. But many new themes have been released since that time. So in this video, I would like to share with you updated XFC themes. I will show you light theme, dark theme, I will try to make XFC look futuristic, I will even turn it into Windows 10 and macOS themes. Let's get started. And we will start with this light theme. To install desktop themes in this video, I will be using this application, which is called Plink. This is basically a software center for desktop themes and beyond. I have introduced it in one of my previous videos, so please watch it if you haven't. You can find any icon or desktop theme here and install it with just one click. For example, to get this light theme which you have just seen, you need to search for the theme which is called Bazik and then you need to find GTK3 theme. You find it here and then you can just install it right from here. You can pick any of these color configuration here, but I will be using basic white yellow theme here. So I install it. Now it is installed and can be enabled in the settings. But we need to install a few additional themes because this is only the GTK3 theme, but we also need to install the theme for window manager and icon sets. So again, we will search for basic here, but now we will pick up this XFCE XFVM4 themes. This is Windows Manager theme. And we will install the same basic white yellow theme here. Install it. And for this theme, I found that Flutterly icons work the best. So I will search for Flutter. Here it is. Let's open it. This is how they look. And again, we will click here to install. Again, there are many different color configurations here, but I will just install the default one. When all the themes are installed, let's go to the settings and click on this appearance menu. And here in the style, you need to choose this basilic theme, which is here, basilic white yellow. I select it. Next, I go to the icons tab and here I select these flattery icons. Here they are. Now we need to go back and go to Window Manager. And I will select Basilic White Yellow here as well. So now as you can see, this theme has changed. Let's go back. So this is how the settings icon look. And we can also check the File Manager. This is how it looks. And to complete this theme, let's also change the wallpaper. I have downloaded some wallpapers which I believe match this theme and I will share the links to these wallpapers in the description under this video. And for this particular theme, I will use this wallpaper which is called Antarctica Tax. That is wallpaper. So here it is, our new white theme. I think it is very beautiful. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. This is currently my favorite dark theme for XFCE. Let me show you how to enable it. And to get this theme, you need to install this sweet GTK3 themes. And here you need to select sweet dark. Next, we will need to install the icon sets. And for this theme, I pick up reversal green dark. It is located in reversal icons theme. And if you click on this install button, you will have a choice between different colors. And I will use green here. Install them. Next, let's go to the settings. Appearance. And here we need to select sweet dark. Then we go to icons. Here we will select reversal green dark. And finally, in the window manager, we also need to select the same sweet theme. This is the dark theme and we can also supplement it with the corresponding wallpaper and for this theme I will use this material wallpaper. Here it is, sweet dark theme 
for XFCE. I have been playing with different XFCE themes while preparing this video for you, and I found this interesting futuristic XFCE theme, which I would like to share in this video. And to get this futuristic theme, we need to go again to our uh, Plink store and search for the GTK theme, which is called Pandora Arc. Here it is. Install it. We will also need Pandora Window Manager. It's called Pandora Glowing Theme. Let's enable it too. For the icon set, I will use candy icons here. Install them. And I also decided to configure my cursor here with a theme which is called Fossa. Here it is. Let's install it too. So now when all the themes are installed, we again go to our settings manager. Appearance. And here for the style, we look for Pandora lighter material glowing. In the icons, we will select candy icons. Here they are. Then we need to go to window manager and change our window manager to Pandora. Here it is. And finally, we can also change the cursor theme. We need to go to the mouse pointer here. Themes. And select Fossa cursors here. So, this is futuristic theme of XFCE. Let's again change the wallpaper here. I have found this nice ultraviolet 4K wallpaper. Now we have very nice and beautiful futuristic XFCE theme. Let me know if you like it. I think it's very unusual and at the same time quite beautiful. XFCE is so configurable that you can make it look like Windows 10. So let's do that. There are many Windows 10 themes you will find in this pink store. Uh, I have tried some of them, some of them look good, some of them not so good, but I will show you the ones which I found to be the most resembling Windows 10. So when you search for Windows 10 here, then you need to go for category and select GTK3 themes. And here you will find Windows 10 GTK. Let's install it. This will be our color theme. Next, you can go back and change the filter from GTK3 to XFCE Windows Manager here. And select this Windows 10 blue theme. Install. Next, we need to find icons for this theme. And to install Windows 10 icons, you need to search for this Windows 10 icon pack for all Linux distros. Install it from here. And for Windows Manager, you need to search for Jack Win 10. Here it is. Install this theme. And now when all the themes are installed, let's enable them in our settings. In the style, we will search for Windows 10. Here it is. In icons, we also need to find Windows 10. Here it is. Now we go to Window Manager. And here we need to find this Jack Win 10. Here you see our borders have changed. Now this is how our file manager looks like. You can also change this Windows borders to Windows 10 Blue. It will look like this. But I think the white title bar looks a little better. That's why I use this one. So now when our theme has been configured, let's go to the pictures and select Windows 10 wallpaper. So this is how our Windows 10 theme looks like. You also need to move this panel to the bottom and you can also go to the properties of this panel and change its uh, properties, for example, to transparency. In the appearance, you can select solid color and make it uh, transparent like this, somewhere around 60%. And if you move it to the bottom, it will somehow resemble Windows 10. But I will not do it because I have shown how to edit panels in my previous video on how to make your XFC look modern and beautiful. Please watch that video. But now let's try to make this XFC look like macOS. And if you check Peeling Store, you will find that 
macOS themes are the most popular here. So the number one is macOS Mojave, the second is macOS, and the third one is also White Sur GTK theme, which is macOS theme. I have tried all of them, and unfortunately, most of them don't work very well with XFCE, because I believe they are optimized for GNOME desktop, but this White Sur GTK theme works quite well with XFCE. So let's install it. I would also like to point out that dark theme looks much better in XFCE than the light theme, so I will install dark theme, but you can also try light theme if you prefer light theme. Let's install it. Then you need to search for white sur icon pack. Here are the icons. Install them too. And when you search for white sur, you will also see that there is a cursor theme. Let's install it. Moreover, there is even wallpaper with white sur. Here it is. But for the wallpaper, it's actually better not to install it, but click on this download button and download it. Then you can extract it to your pictures for folder and set it as a wallpaper. So now let's go to the settings and configure our desktop to look like macOS. In the appearance, we select white sur dark. Then we go to icons and we will select this theme as well here. Here it is, dark. Next we go to window manager and also change our theme to white sur dark theme. Now all the settings have been done except the mouse pointer. We can go to mouse and touchpad themes and select white sur cursor here. And if we change the wallpaper, it looks pretty similar to macOS. Of course, it is not exactly macOS because it is still XFCE, which is very light desktop, but it resembles macOS in some way. Let me know which of these themes is your favorite, and if you know any other beautiful theme for XFCE, please share it in the comments, I believe many viewers will appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and thank you for watching.